What's up travellers, I'm Natural Born and welcome to Finding Fauna in No Man's Sky. And in today's video we have found some mini diplos on an incandescent planet in the Euclid galaxy. With overly warm weather and sentinel forces being ever present lives a mini diplo that I have named Littlefoot. Weighing 59 kilograms and standing 0.9 meters tall, this diplo is classed as a mini diplo. After a bit of hunting on the planet, I found an elderly diplo with a size of 0.3 meters, which is also the smallest size recorded to date. So if you would like to come to this planet yourself, I'll put the portal glyphs on the screen now. Here we have a mother with her young. The mother has a hammerhead, also known as a cephalofoil, and rows of razor sharp blades lining the sides of her neck. Even though she is small, she will use these blades to attack any predators that may cause danger to her young. With stegosaurus type plates of armour and firm rows across her back, she has the perfect balance of defensive and offensive capabilities to survive in this harsh environment. With hard green scales covering her body, they help to regulate the temperature, and four small rounded toes on each foot to help this mini diplo traverse across the scorched landscape. For the Diplo's size to be considered mini, it must be in between the range of 0.3 to 1.9 meters in size, so a little friend here fits nicely into that category. Now moving on to the male. Even though he is still young, his flat bone helmet is fully formed and it will not grow much larger than this. This helmet provides the young male with shelter from the harsh sunlight that is constantly beaming down on the planet. It is also believed that they develop these caps as a way to camouflage from predators. When hiding amongst the long grass, these males appear to be nothing more than a mushroom. Having no razor sharp blades like their female counterpart, the males have no chance of protecting themselves from predators, and therefore must always be cautious when foraging for food. When harvesting these creatures, you will receive large eggs, and when killing them, they will drop you diplo meat. The best thing about these tiny creatures is despite their size, you are still able to ride around on them. So even though they may be small, these creatures will serve as loyal companions on your everlasting journey. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more Finding Fauna content in the future, then be sure to like this video and subscribe, and leave a comment below and let me know what type of creatures you would like to see in this series, or better yet, Tell me about the rare creatures you have encountered yourself. With 18 quintillion planets to explore, who knows what's hiding out there in the deepest corners of the galaxies. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.